So I had to make a stop real quick, man, because I'm famished. Got me a drink from the Salvadorian place over here. Uh, delicious. Because over here today, at another store, but check this to check these check these homies out. Let's see if I get the camera right. Check them out. If y'all stop by, give them a shout out. But we just pulled up to the fish bowl and more. And I'm about to go in here after I drink my delicious beverage and uh, get the homie to show me around. So y'all sit tight. I'm gonna show y'all Houston, store by store. Today, we at the fish bowl. Y'all sit tight, it's gonna be a good one. Let me get my juice. So when you look, you are greeted by this beautiful display tank when you first come in. It's a nice, beautiful display tank with some artificials in here. Got some Texas Holy Rock action, some other stone in here that looks really good. Nice eclectic mix of stones. And then you got your community of cichlids, African with the classic blood parrot. Some Satanoperca action right there. Look at that guy. Now he's South American, you guys know that already. And then you got this bad boy right here. And of course the parrot's always trying to get in the shots. But that's who I want to try to follow. And that's what you got. Let's go take a look on the other side. Because this is a 360 tank. Or almost a, yeah, it's a 360 tank. You got your logo on the other side here as well. Same skate action right here. So they got a nice selection of frag action over here. Real nice. This is one of them stores that's off the beaten path, but they doing their thing. Got some more, got a nice little display thing here that they let kind of go, but it looks really good. Everything in here is healthy. And I'm, I'm starting to notice this more and more of people starting to accept algae as a part of escape and using algae more as an indication of the overall health of the tank rather than just, hey, it's ugly. I gotta kill it and get it out. Um, these guys are over here. They're wiping tanks. Like, that was the first thing I saw when I came in here and I was like, hey, I wanna film this store. Okay, so I was able to track down the owner, the homie Carlos, I got him over here. Hold on, let me turn this camera around and I'm gonna let Carlos give y'all the shout out. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, Carlos from the Fishbowl, okay. uh, family owned business. We've been in business about 15 years. We're a one-stop shop. We got fresh water, salt water, corals, we do installation, custom cabinetry for aquariums, whatever you need, just give me a shot. Check me out. I'm in Pearland, but we travel anywhere, so we can take care of all your needs. Sí, habla español también. Yeah, hey, hablamos español. Si quieren algo, me avisan y te lo pongo, te lo preparo bien. All right, thanks, bro. I appreciate yes, it. So appreciate now I'm about you. to get in here already. So now I'm about to get in here, and homie Carlos is going to take us around and show us some of the projects. Man, I got to know about this logo right here, bro. So, How did you, <laughs> what is up with that? I got a guy that does 3D printing. Okay. Basically, we can print any logo you want. Word. You know, if you want any anything, you know, I got custom logos, I got pool companies that got their logos done by us, you know. I even did one for somebody for, uh, he calls himself Trailer Hood King. So I got the initials, <laughs> I put a big crown on it. I, I did it gold for him, so it goes in this tank. So right, right. Whatever you need, we can do it. That's not a problem, you know. Ain't nothing to we, it, bro. Normally, we run them with magnets, so they're easy to pull. You can clean and put back on on your overflow box, stuff like yeah. that. No. Oh. So basically, if somebody wanted a fish tank to look like on tank, yeah. that's, that's, hey. Get it done. Y'all spam it up in the comments right now. Let me know if I should do a 3D printer warrior planet tanks logo for sure we let me know i got y'all already know i got the fires logo in fish tube land i don't even care come at me if i want to smoke i got the fires logo all that other milk toast nanny foo foo nonsense but yeah let me know if i should get the warrior planet tanks fireman with the shield 3d printing for a tank so this is our um, 150 custom tank that we got done by planet aquariums um, it's our show tank, a planet aquarium, basically. We've had it up about a year and a half now. Okay. Um, I let it, I kind of let it go a little bit natural. You can see some of the algae growing for some of the fish to chew on and stuff like that. Okay. So I don't mess with some of my plants. 
but it's a work in progress. We're always messing with it and kind of getting it tuned up. We change it up from time to time and okay. just get customers things to look at a little bit different. That's what's up, man. So for you people wanting to know, so check out the way he's been able to actually culture this algae and keep it where he wants it on um, some of the hard shape. Look at the, look at the substrate, it's clean, crystal clean. And it's because of these guys right here. See that one inside his tetra right there? They eat plants, guys. But as you can see, ain't none of these plants been touched in here. They just forage on the algae and naturally, and they all got fat bellies and they look <laughs> amazing. So checking it out, they got some crypt wind dye in the corner right there. Got some sword action in the back. I see some, uh, is that water sprite back there? Yeah, that's the celery in the back, yes sir. Yeah, you know, that's in the celery family, low key. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's uh, Indian water ferns, but Sarah tops this out, I don't remember. One of the, the one that starts with the C, it's not the uh, hygrophilia, the, uh, the other joint, the uh, water wisteria. But I just can't get the camera off yeah, of this we tank. Did it. And I did a old Let's look at the sump guts. system on it. Check out the sump on this bad boy. So what <laughs> size is this? Someone's in 75? Uh, 55 gallon. It's just a 55? Yeah. Basically drop some carbon, drop some stuff in there. I did lava rock with bacteria in the middle. Oh, this is just regular polyfill, bro. Yeah, regular polyfill. That's, that's AC filter, bro. Filter that's pad. It. My dude, that's Keep DIY it in it, bro. It clean, that's you know? DIY in it, bro. <laughs> Love it. Try hey, to make bro. It easy for a filter, a filter is a filter. Check out. I had CO2 pumping in. I had to do that for the, but he ain't running CO, yeah, he is. <laughs> that is culture algae for all you fish police out there. He let that go like that on purpose. So moving around, bro, let's let's get, let's get dig into the salt water, bro. Yeah, yeah, for real, so for real. My main row right here got pretty much all my frags. I got I looking at these frags, bro. Frags. We get all, most of my stuff's from Australia. Okay, um, so it's all sustainable, right? It's all sustainable. I don't like to mess with Indo because it's overpriced right now. Right, right. <laughs> But they do got some pretty stuff. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But we got a lot of stuff that we can put into the tank. Um, I get coral in weekly. Okay. Uh, so I always got new stuff in, depending on when you swing by. You know, uh, got some bomb rainbow nims. Bro, check out these nims, y'all. I got different stuff going on through the whole shop. I like to keep it full. I'd like to have my customers look at different stuff. You know, be able to choose uh, what they like. I'm looking for a cotton candy, bro. It's gonna pop Ooh, I out. Got, I got a cotton candy. I know candy you do. Right there. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Yeah. That wasn't even scripted, y'all. Yeah. Look at that. And also, I mean, uh, like you said, if, if you're looking for great prices, nice quality. Bro, he got good know. prices, bro. Let me know. This is a store for hobbyists by hobbyists, bro. Let's get it. Shots fire. Y'all bring it. Come over here. I'm not gonna use no profanity. The kids might be watching. You know. But yeah, shots fire, bro. Shots fire. Y'all come over here. If y'all over here on the south side in Pearland and check them out. Check out these hammer corals, though, bro. Check out these hammers. Real nice. Check out. Y'all check out this sump action, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so basically I just dropped as much live rock as I could in that bottom base, make yeah. it all natural. Yeah, man, I'm seeing it. That way I don't have to mess with it too much and it runs itself. Yeah. Weekly, every two weeks water changes on uh -huh. the just to keep it clean. All my all my coral gets dipped before it goes in. Okay. Don't care who's it from. <laughs> it's all clean before you take it home. So how you feel about refugiums, bro? I like them. Um, you know, the more natural, the better. Yeah. Just because you try to get it as close as the ocean as you can. Oh, so let's go check out some more stuff. Yeah. I'm following you, bro. So I just got a bag of uh, Oh, this is my invert station. Okay. So everything in here, snails, hermit crabs, anemones, shrimp, whatever you name it, we got it coming in all the time. Um, I like to keep all my systems separated. Right. So there's no central system. No central, say that again for the people. No central system in this shop. Everything's, Everything's separated. System. So yeah. you can isolate pathogens, basically, if it was yeah. to pop up yeah that's it i don't like to have a central system because if there is something spreading i don't want it to spread that far I, you can catch it that's so, awesome bro this is my clown station i do nothing but tank raised clowns check yeah. this out it all comes from sea and reef they're one of the best uh, breeders of clown fish you can get whatever you want from the high-end designer to the basic original authors clown but if you can see basically i got this unit just one sump. Oh wow. Separate system. 
one unit here. I got this whole unit for one separate sound. And that's how you keep it clean. That's how I keep it clean. That's how I keep everything isolated to where nobody's going to get affected. Most of my tanks, as you can see, they're all copper treated. Amen. So every every system I got here, just to make it a little bit nicer for the customers, they, got, they run through copper cycle before I sell it. Okay. Just okay. so that way they're a little bit quarantined, I guess you can say, make sure that's pretty safe for everybody. So let's take a look at some of these clowns over here. Yeah, yeah. And let's give the people uh, go over some of the ones because Clown Fisher came a long way. You can thank that Pixar movie, which right. I won't mention <laughs> for that. Wyoming Whites, which is a crossbreed. I got the Da Vinci. I got some little different patterns to them. I got okay. the Reds or Ocelaris. We do got the Storms. Everybody's after the, the Yeah, which is the hot, what's the hottest thing smoking right now as far as Instagram and, uh, and you it, know? Long fin, anything that's a storm clown fish, long okay. fin, something like that. And this is what they're calling storm, the solid white. Yeah, with the little blotches on there because of the like storm troopers. Right, right, right. You know, stuff like that. That's kind of dope though, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. They're pretty clean looking. They got some different patterns on them and stuff like that, so they, they work out fairly well for us. Damn, bro, I got the mocha storms in place. By a <laughs> nano tank, bro. Check out that mocha yeah. right there. Look at it. So it's pretty clean. They got some cool little patterns on them and stuff like that. But I get the big, large Linkias. I got the. Look at that Linkia star down there, bro. Look at that Linkia, bro. I got all the docks. All the red and black dark Linkias. I got the red ones. Whatever you need, we can order, we can get it in, no problem. Where's your nerd corner? You got any nudie branks or any crazy stuff like that? Uh, no nudies right now. Um, I can get them in any time. Okay. Uh, but I don't have them in on hand, but we normally order them in if customers want them. Oh, uh, okay. We do weekly orders, so we can order whatever, anytime. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I do got a, I do got a decorator crab. Right Check right out this decorator, <laughs> bro. He's a monster. Look at it. That's insane, bro. We got emeralds. Bro, check out these nymphs, bro. Look at these long tentacles. Yeah, got all types of long tentacles, bubbles, whatever you yeah, see, Yeah, let's man. look at some some more of the common stuff that you'll see, like at big box store, like that. Uh -huh. There's still like the yeah, Asian yeah. pink tips. Oh, right. basically for Gulf Coast, yeah. Caribbean stuff yeah, that yeah, you can't you can kill. Get, I got some of the condies. I got yeah. some Sabay anemones. I got the big green bubbles are pretty common. The long tentacles. Right, right. You know, things like that. I got the, the basic stuff that are, you know, for, if you don't believe me, price of big green bubbles. Yeah, look at these big green bubbles, bro. Bucks. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, y'all didn't know I used to reef back in the day. I told you once I got out of the military, I was going to start saltwater back. Leave a like in the comments. Leave a comment if I should start reefing again. Got over here with the homie Carlos. I can tell we cut from the same cloth, so we just been over here talking about saltwater. I'm sorry y'all came here for plants, but it is what it is. Y'all come over here, he'll have you doing the same thing. I came in here with an agenda, and we ended up on the saltwater section, but hey... But I got, yeah, we also got all kinds of custom cameras. Beautiful tanks, want, man. Yeah, we They're running. Different tanks, anything you're looking for. Check out the skim action. That's what I was looking at when I came in here. And the prices, I was telling the homie, man, the prices, fair, you can't man. beat them. We try to stay fair with everybody. Look at this rig. We're in the hobby too. We started yeah. off as hobbyists too, so it's not. Say that again. I said I started off as hey. a hobbyist too, you know. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I for. still love it. I got tanks at the house. So. so I'm gonna go over here and check out the beta corner. And this is a small, nice little LFS, but it's still got that hey we care feel to it. It's clean. Everything in here is healthy. Look at this. These are just some of your, you know, fancies here and there. Nothing hardcore, hardcore, but nonetheless, if you want to get a nice one, you can come here and get it. And I think I see something I might want. All right, so let's go back over here and let's check out these supplement action. Any store that has that is a good store. If you're reefing. You know, this is probably one of the brands that's been in the business for the longest. This is a good trusted brand. Basically what I'm saying is everything I see over here is stuff that works. You can't go wrong with anything you choose. And I like the fact that they just have a selection of stuff that works and it's in here based on how much it costs. But it, so basically the most inexpensive is still a reputable brand all the way up to some of your higher top shelf stuff. 
that are extremely reputable brands. I'm gonna check out some of this coral action real quick. Check this out. Real nice, bro. They got good prices, bro. I'm gonna get back in the reef and I'm probably gonna come here. No cap. Okay, so now I'm gonna go check out some of these ornamentals because I've been seeing that that seems to be the most popular thing in the hobby right now. The homie Carlos was dealing with a customer, so I'm gonna sneak over here and uh, check out these ornamentals. This is what I was talking about in the sanctuary video uh, when I said I was just gonna start buying a bunch of ornamental stuff and throwing it in a supernatural biotope and calling it art. So y'all check out what I'm talking about. So basically stuff like that, like the glowfish, That's what I mean when I say ornamentals. If that was in the Amazon River, it would be bait. So with that, that, and now you get the picture. This stuff ain't swimming outside. It's gonna be food for something else immediately. But it's still beautiful. It's ornamental. So think about how you can incorporate different things like that in your skates because they need homes too. So y'all know I came over here with the homie J-Dub and he done hit an impulse buy. He about to get some of these um, dwarf emeralds back there. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm eyeing them uh, pretty hardly myself. I think I might get some because I got that Pico at home that I want to stop. So I'm about to watch the homie Carlos in action get some of these uh, extremely tough fish. Okay. So if you're not sure if you're a beginner, you don't know what you're looking for, everything that's semi-aggressive is going to be in the reddish peak color. Okay. So that way you can distinguish on, you know, what you want. If nobody tells you, because some places won't tell you, they won't right. ask you questions. We always like to make sure that you're knowledgeable, you know what you got in your tank and what's not going to kill each other. Right, right, right. And stuff like that. So we try to make it easy for people when they come okay. in. Okay. So that's semi-aggressive. So what's aggressive? Fire red? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, what is it? yeah, show us some fire red. I, mean, I don't know fire red. Well, you we got, got a dull volume I, got here. Some I just want them bad boys. up over here appreciate you bro. Seven. tuesday through friday yeah one to seven and one to seven saturday ten to five and from saturday ten to five all right man hey this has been dope man so i'm gonna go finish my impulse buys i'm gonna enjoy my juice too uh check out this cotton candy Okay, y'all, so that's gonna wrap this one up for the fishbowl. Carlos, my bro. Hey, man, Carlos is an old hobbyist from way back. We've been over here off camera just catching up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shooting the shit and everything. You know, long time. He knows the people I know. This is gonna be good, y'all. Hey, y'all, thank you guys. Stay blessed. This is Steve from Warrior Planet Tanks live from the fishbowl in the great state of Texas, in the best city in Texas, Houston. 
Hey, y'all stay blessed. I'm out.